Hey everybody, my name is Lisa and I'm the Crafty Goddess. Hello and welcome. I know it's been forever and a day since I last posted. Um, the past few weeks have been a bit of a blur. I've had uh, numerous doctor's appointments and exams and all sorts of fun stuff here and there. Uh, and somewhere in between all that, I managed to, I, I'm pretty sure I had gastroenteritis for a few days uh, in layman's terms, a stomach flu, but uh, it could have gone a lot worse, but I only had something like that for a few days. I'm pretty sure it was either the stomach flu or side effects of my meds. Don't mind the traffic outside. Uh, I live on a major artery in the city and I've got all the windows and doors open because, well, not the front door. Uh, it's just such a gorgeous day and I wanted some natural air in the apartment. Um, but yeah, it's been a little insane. I'll do a proper uh, update later, but for now I wanted to show off a, one of my latest hauls from Timu because Timu is addictive as we all know. <laughs> They've got some really great prices for items and gadgets and whatnot and I recently placed another order. Nothing too major, uh, just some much needed crafts, uh, supplies, etc. So let's get started with that. Uh, this first item I got, I saw it on the craft supplies um, section and I thought it would come in really handy. It looks like something I can use for my hemp uh, not work my my macrame uh, necklaces and whatnot. Sorry, let me just adjust this here. I don't want to go in there. Okay, there we go. Um, I needed something a little bit more stable with which I could tie my necklaces up with as I braided them. If anybody's done macrame not work, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I saw this and thought it was such a clever idea. It's adjustable. You can, it's even got the inches increments so you know how far apart to move it. Uh, handy little clips on either end so you can clip the strings, uh, clip the working end here, and then whatever strings you need over here. This cost, I believe, $7.45. I don't have the price with me, uh, unfortunately, for this item. I was just so excited, I unwrapped it and threw away the packaging, and then I deleted the email <laughs> with all the prices on it. I do have prices written on the other items, but I thought this was so clever and it's going to help a lot. I'm going to try it out today, actually, when I do some more uh, necklaces, uh, do some more knot tying and whatnot. Yeah, these super clever, very cool. It's going to come in handy. Uh, next up, I got... Now, I ordered one package of these uh, 6 millimeter spacer beads. They're silver, but they feel like plastic. They don't feel very heavy at all. Um, they actually kind of look a little plasticky. Like, the middle doesn't look very... Like, it looks metallic, but... Um, either way, I don't mind, because I just... I need something for my, my jewelry... I'm debating actually doing a um, tutorial on how to do macrame knot work. So if anybody's interested in that, comment down below. Please let me know. Uh, these packages, I believe there are 100 uh, uh, in each package, like 100 pieces, and it cost $1.48. I just ordered one, but I got two. Maybe that was my free gift. I don't know. Um, either way, thank you, Timu. <laughs> that worked wonderfully. Uh, so the next item I got, sorry, I'm just going to dive into a bag here so I can give an example of what I'm talking about. Um, so I do regular festivals like the Pirate Festival, uh, Robin in the Hood, which is a medieval festival, that sort of thing. I, I like doing a lot of area themed festivals because they're a lot of fun. Um, and one of the items I do specifically for the Pirate Festival is something that I call Pirate Dreads, which is what you see here. Uh, I use leftover uh, hemp and twine from other jewelry making projects. And I use those scraps to make these Pirate Dreads, uh, just basically braided up a certain amount. Uh, as you can see, string along some beads, nice big old skull bead here. And then I use a clip, you just clip it into your hair or brim of your hat, bandana, whichever. I, I think they're kind of cute because they're that means they're removable, right? So I was running out of these uh, wooden beads like this and I thought, why not grab some from the Timu website? And I found this package of beads. There are, I think, is there a hundred in each pack? The writing is so small, I can't even read it. 
yep, there's 100 pieces. Um, and they have like different designs on them and whatnot, but they're all round. They're all about, I'd say 10 millimeter with the nice big hole in the middle. So I can easily slip the braided uh, cord through it, among other things. And this only cost me $1.97. So again, I thought, I, I've said this before ad nauseum, but Timu does have some great deals on jewelry supplies, jewelry making supplies, that sort of thing. I really jumped at the chance to, to get these. I thought it was cute. It's gonna, it's gonna be good use, obviously. Uh, one other thing I needed for the Pirate Festival was some skull beads. I do like skull beads. Uh, I ordered a bunch. I ordered uh, both black and white skull beads. I do have some multicolored ones I still have to go through. Uh, in case anybody uh, tries to tell you, the skull beads that you normally see are reconstituted howlite. They're not turquoise, they're howlite. Which is good because howlite is a good protection stone. So these are... Uh, there are 39 pieces per string, at least on these ones. Let me just read. Yeah, there's about 36 to 39 pieces on each. Uh, the black ones cost $3.68 per string. Uh, they are, I think, yeah, just under uh, 0.3 by 0.4 inches. So they're a little smaller than what I'm used to. I usually use the ones that are slightly larger. Nothing too big. Not as big as the one I showed on the Pirate Dreads. Uh, so the black ones were $3.68. The white ones were $3.14, and these are going to do me a world of good when I do other, you know, pirate-themed pieces of jewelry like bracelets, necklaces. Uh, they're going to make a nice addition to those. I am going to go back and see if I can order ones that are slightly bigger than this. Nothing wrong with these. These, these will come in handy for sure. But again, good price. I could normally find the, only the white ones and the multicolored ones at Michael's, and then... I could get other colors at Art and Beads in Toronto, which I've talked about before. It's one of my main places to go to get um, like sugar skull beads, that sort of thing. But when I saw these on Timu, I thought might as well jump on it, see what I get. And and once again, the, the delivery came in within a week. I think I've mentioned that before in other Timu haul videos. It takes about, I think, just under a week for my order to come in. So I was very happy with that. And of course, I had to get some more of the rainbow sugar skull beads. These are $1.98. There are 50 pieces in a bag. And I was thinking of going with like the, the pride theme, like the rainbow theme colors. I just thought it was so cute. I, I haven't made anything with the other package yet, but I definitely will for, for these. Again, for the Pirate Festival. Plus, I think the uh, you know little kids will be attracted to the brighter colors as well. Uh, last but not least, I got some coffin shaped gemstones because I have a thing for gemstones and the coffin shaped ones were a bit of an oddity. I, I see that Timu like AliExpress and a couple other websites such as Ali and Timu sell gemstones. Uh, I don't know if they do the wholesale thing or not. I, you know, but these do feel authentic. They don't feel plasticky at all. I think they're, yeah, there's opalite in there. I think there's some different types of agate in here as well. I haven't quite taken a close look at those, but I was thinking about doing something similar to like, um, like a crystal confetti thing for my booth. I have little knitted pouches that I've made that I've got like so many of, and I thought it would be a cool idea to sort of, if it, in case anybody wanted to buy one, they could do a scoop of some crystal confetti so they can put them in there. I've got other gemstones already, like little mushrooms and uh, little dragon heads and whatnot. And I thought, why not throw some coffins into the mix too? Uh, so I got a package of 10 and this cost me $7.55, which again, it was a really, really good deal. Yeah, these are, these were a steal. I think the measurements on these are just under an inch uh, in length. But I thought this was a really cute idea. Um, yeah, I liked it. I got a couple other random things here, uh, here and there as well, but nothing like craft related. It was more like household items, that sort of thing. But that is my latest haul for now. I don't know when I'll be placing another one. <laughs> I'm trying to pace myself. I, I, wanted to sort of test the waters to see what the availability was of craft materials and how quickly it would get here and I have been 
quite pleasantly surprised with both. Uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, it's it's an interesting website. Um, I think it's there's I know it's from China, but I do believe they have a sort of like headquarters in the United States. I believe it's in Boston, so maybe that explains the quick shipping. I don't know. I'm still getting new to this whole Timu thing. But as I said, I am a very happy shopper with this, especially with the wide range of products available. But that is it. That's it for now. Uh, once again, if anybody is interested in a tutorial on how to do macrame knot work, please let me know. Drop a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate all the positive feedback. If you haven't done so already, please go down here and click subscribe. We have hit a thousand, well, we've gone over a thousand subscribers now, which is amazing. Thank you all so much. I will be doing a draw. I know I've said this before, but unfortunately life caught up to me, but I will be doing a video where I draw the winner's names and you will have a certain amount of time to get in touch with me. I've got the boxes packed and ready to go. I just have to pick the names. I am so, so sorry. Uh, unfortunately, life has a way of catching up when I least expected it. Everything's okay. I'll do an update later. But again, thank you all so much who have subscribed so far. Uh, again, if you haven't done so already, hit the button and hit the little notification bell. It'll let you know when I post new videos. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, please take care of yourselves, stay safe, keep making cool stuff, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye!